2 Corinthians 5.21 For he hath made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. I heard a debate between a Muslim and a Christian, where the Muslim asked, If Jesus is the word of God, completely sinless, then could he be made sin? That is a contradiction. In mentioning that Jesus is the word of God, he was referring to John 1.1, 1, 1, In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Verse 14 goes on to say, And the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. It's actually a good question that was not answered. So I thought about it, prayed about it, and studied the verse more deeply. The first thing I want to say is that the Muslim is right, that it is a contradiction. And what's more, the Bible itself even makes that observation as well in Hebrews 12, 2 through 3, which says, Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him that endured such a contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be wearied and faint in your minds. Jesus endured that contradiction as a matter of submission to the purpose, plan, and will of the Father. There are actually several contradictions he endured. I can think of a few, but there may be more. Notice also that the Bible even tells us we are to consider that contradiction. So let's look at and consider the contradictions in Jesus' life. The contradiction of holy almighty God becoming flesh and enduring human weakness, like the need for food, sleep, etc. Colossians 2.9 says, For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Hebrews 4.14-15 Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession of faith. For we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are yet without sin. The contradiction of the creator of the universe becoming a servant within his own creation. Matthew twenty twenty seven through 28 And whosoever will be chief among you, let him be your servant, even as the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister, and to give his life a ransom for many. The contradiction of holy God allowing himself to be crucified by sinful humans. Philippians 2, 5-8 through 8. Let this mind also be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself with no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself, and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. The contradiction of being the sinless Son of God, yet taking the punishment for our sin. 1 Corinthians 153 3-4 For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day, according to the scriptures. The contradiction of never having sinned, yet bearing our sin. 1 Peter 2, 21-24 For even hereunto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example, that ye should follow his steps, who did no sin, Neither was guile found in his mouth, who, when he was reviled, reviled not again. When he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judgeth righteously, who his own self bare our sins in his own body on the tree, 
that we, being dead to sins, should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. So Jesus endured a lot of contradictions, but what the Muslim thought he found actually goes beyond just being a simple contradiction. It is true that Jesus, as the sinless Son of God, and as the Word of God, absolutely cannot be turned into sin. That's a logical impossibility. God is not a God of disorder doing the logically impossible. So what does this mean? Let me show you what my Greek interlinear Bible says in 2 Corinthians 2.21. For the one not knowing sin, he makes to be a sin offering for our sakes that we may be becoming God's righteousness in him. You see, he was made into a sin offering, not into sin itself. I will also add the link for the Interlinear Bible to the video description. The Interlinear Bible for Windows is a free download. The offering Jesus became for sin gives us the right to enter into heaven when we accept and receive him as our Savior. That starts with repentance of sin, turning away from it, and coming to God through Jesus for salvation. That starts with a simple little prayer, like this. Dear Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross for my sins, and that you rose again the third day. I repent of my sins, so please forgive me for my sins and come into my heart and be Lord of my life. Help me overcome sin in my life and live for you, so I will have joy when I see your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Get a Bible and start reading it to learn more of His will so you can live out His holiness in your life. If you've ever wished you could read the story of Jesus' life from all four Gospels chronologically, you might like Emmanuel by April Marie. You can check it out at any of these websites, also included in the video description. Thank you for watching. May you receive the righteousness of God through the sacrifice of Jesus.